In this dialog, all the necessary parameters such as vegetation index, start date, end date, shape file, and output folder are provided by the user. Additionally, a database connectivity can also be created in this dialog. Now, only the necessary bands required for calculating the vegetation index are downloaded from Sentinel and Landsat Hub. If the vegetation index already exists in database, the download is skipped. Vegetation index are now calculated based on the newly downloaded rasters. The newly calculated vegetation indices are then inserted into the database for future reference. The vegetation indices are then clipped to area of interest with reference to the shape file. The mean vegetation index is then calculated for each feature of the shape file and inserted into a CSV file. This CSV file can be used to generate a graph. This project-based learning approach, it really helps in building many technical stacks. For example, I am from EC department, but I got to know more about the geosensing technologies and uh, so it introduced me to many uh, CS concepts. Because of this project-based learning, we were able to learn something new. Uh, here we have around 60 interns, which uh, all of them are working on different projects and different uh, technical streams. So interacting with them was a uh, very good experience. Having a tea with them and talking about their projects, what all problems they are facing and explaining our problems. That also helped in uh, solving our problems and they also found their solution by themselves. We just discussing within among ourselves. We were supposed to get the individual bands from Landsat API, but it wasn't uh, available, readily available. So we had to do a bit of web scraping. That's what like, uh, innovative approach. So web scraping involves like go, um, going to the HTML and downloading each specific band of our interest. We inspected the HTML code and tracked what all request it sends to the web server and recreated that request using automation. With, uh, like We substituted like the human, uh, human part of it because uh, API was not readily available for that unlike Sentinel in which you have to just the, give the band name and it used to download. That. During the naval dockyard visit, so we found out that the technology they used is very old and the reason is that they trust that technology, they don't just chase the cutting edge. If you feel down that, okay, uh, is it all Yantra, like robotics competition, is it worth it? It definitely is. We used to do our EYRC task two to three days before we used to start and like one day before we used to get very frustrated because nothing worked. So we used to just say to, I used to say to my teammate during EYRC, okay, if we do this, we will get an internship, we will do this, we will... So all the motivation during EYRC was just getting here to this internship at IIT Bombay. All the motivation during EYRC was not about cash prize, it was just getting here in the internship. Doing internship at uh, IIT Bombay, EYSIP is something really great. I don't think any other internship or anything will have this kind of exposure to IIT Bombay itself and its faculties. So being here at IIT Bombay, like having lectures with them, them, their faculties and just seeing the all environment around here is a once in a lifetime opportunity.